I misspelled it the first time. All right, all right. I was just too lazy to come and fix it until now. Oh my. What an incredibly happy looking Pokemon. I'm gonna kill it. Whoa. This existed in white too? Black and white too? I thought this was introduced to the next and why? Oh my. I'm not prepared for this. Okay. So, I guess I've always wanted to die. This must have been supported in PvP for this game too, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I like to keep people from dying if I can completely help it. not weak to grass like most water types are. That stout line's gonna be a problem. Ow! See? What did I say? I said things. I wasn't correct in saying them, but I said them. I know you're gonna rotate again, but whatever. Oh, you're not. So I'll just get to badoosh the hell out of your dog. Ow! Ah, that's right. Steel is strong against everything! And you will die! But ground is actually not strong against very much at all. Meh. Faint. I'm out of practice. I forget what this move even does. Just, I know it's got some special characteristic to it. Echoed voice. I do not recall what this does. Hmm. Special, eh? Minchino and Chinchino are more geared towards physical than special, so... I fear not. My fast rodent is a quick fighter. No, I said I didn't want it. I don't know how buttons work, so I'm going to press the wrong thing. Let's see, rotate this way? Yeah, there we go. I didn't even think that DS could have really done this. To be brutally, painfully, upsettingly, adverbially obvious. Honest. Honest. Honest UD, that's my name. Being honest all the time, that's my game. That's right, all you got left is a cute little green deer that I'm going to burn! That is what they call a badoosh. Badoosh. Rotational battles, really? I could have sworn that was introduced in Gen 6, but that shows how strong my trivia is. I.e. not very. The whole team is to level 33 after a little bit of grinding. However, in the two or three months that I've been away, I have completely forgotten how Furo Skyla works. So what you're about to see is quite... I mean, I may not even show it because it could just be a failed attempt. Attempt number two. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, hottest trainer in the game. Show me things that hurt. Smash. Slash. Crash. Ah! 
God, what a pretty trainer. Four X. That was stupid. That was completely dumb. This game really does have a problem with throwing gym leaders at you that are, like, artificially out of level. And I was able to win just because I had taken advantage- inadvertently had the ability to take advantage of the worst, terrible typecasting advantage against this girl. Ugh, that, that wasn't a satisfying battle at all. Like, my, basically my whole team wiped, except... Oh, by the way, I know an upright sheep that can punch you with lightning! That was dumb. Bad. Ah, uh, yeah, comparing me to Toko. Not only did Toko beat you, she beat you with, like, her whole body falling apart because of how she'd been slammed around this gym by your freaking people cannons. And this, this wind tunnel bullshit is not much better. I don't really look forward to getting to the next gym now, because I know as soon as I do, it's going to be like, oh, by the way, you're five levels behind, and you can only cheese your way through this battle if you don't want to go out and grind up. Well, that's just great. Thank you. Um, well, before that happens, I want to see if I can teach acrobatics to my ducklet. Yeah. Hmm. 
I don't know. This doesn't really match the build I was going for. Oh, nobody can learn it anyway. Herp derp. That's all I am. I'm just a massive derp. And smash! No, not even smash. You just get knocked right out. Uh, I was... Oh, come on. I wanted Bedhead to take my attention as soon as I came out here. We're gonna go for a flight? Oh, Uh, that one, I, I remember Opla said, but which which town did she just say? Lemitiscus Town? I don't recall that one. I could have visited it in White One. I don't, I don't remember. Whatever, peoples. Your silly nonsense affects not my worldly desires. My worldly desire to befriend every lesbian in the Pokemon universe. I know it's quite the weird contrast to have me like, swearing and cussing and cursing and talking about lesbian sex around every corner. But I think it's important to keep in mind that Pokemon is not just for kids. It has an adult fan base. And I am proudly a member of that. And it's dumb. It's excruciatingly stupid. But you know what? It's my stupid. It's the stupid I love. So I'm going to enjoy it wholeheartedly. Where the hell is Skyla? You said we're going to go for a flight in a plane, right? Oh, there you two are. Hello, Belle, Yanka. Wait, my God, I want to fly too. And I tried flapping my wings really hard and it didn't work. Oh, excuse me, flapping my arms really hard. Yay. This plane that is not engineered in anything like the proper shape to actually get off the ground. In fact, this runway is nowhere near long enough either, now that I think of it. If you can run from one end of the runway to another in like a couple, like less than 30 seconds, then it's nowhere near long enough. That'd be miles. Len Lentimas Town. Ooh, sounds kind of Latin. No, no, I didn't know that. I don't go to school. That's right, because Iris promoted out, right? Why don't you go to Oplicid? Okay. Are you kidding? I love kicking the shit out of Team Plasma. They're like a bunch of genial punching bags. I like Team Plasma because I get to beat the crap out of their Pokemon and then they have like these existential breakdowns because of it. What adorable pet mechanics are going on inside here? Nothing special, huh? Tisk tisk. Alright, well, let's go out and find out what I'm not strong enough to tackle yet. Actually, where is this? Yeah? I do not believe we came here before. But that's opposite. Um, Lacanosa? Lacanosa? These are all like really weirdly composited names of different phenotypes. Not phenotypes, that's a genetics team thing. Phenomes that I do not know. I miss having one of you guys in my team. You are good people. You are technically speaking a criminal, but still good people. Oh my. I know not what's going on in this nasty place. Hmm. Is it unethical to fall in love with with someone when you have absolutely no respect for their intellectual capacity whatsoever? Like, you think the person is beautiful and good-hearted and charming and really nice to be around and they make you feel good about yourself and about life in general, but you just have to kind of objectively admit that they're a big idiot. That's how I felt about Skyla just now. It's like, man, girl, you're great, but you're also... This, this battle was dumb. And I, I just can't say a whole lot of good things about your intellectual capacity for what I just witnessed. 
What just happened? Unpheasant's a flying normal type. That should have done neutral damage. In fact, it was doing neutral damage earlier on in the fight. How did that land super effective? That's deeply confusing. It'd be nice if this game would throw something other than flying types at me so I can level something other than my electric sheep. I love my electric sheep, but I have a whole team here and they all need to level. Whoa, what is that thing? Skip. Scor... Scorpi. Scorpi. Hmm. That... that is new. I am... I have not seen that thing before. I am tempted to think bug poison type. That would be the most obvious interpretation, and just saying that makes both you and me dumber. And makes me dumber, dumber for having said it, and you dumber for having heard it. I am actively contributing to lower IQ scores throughout the world just by speaking. This is very sad. Hmm, yeah. Goes to show, there's still a lot of Pokemon I don't know. Like, I probably still don't know half of 5th gen. I don't know anything of 4th, 3rd, or... Well, I know 3rd, because I was, did Oras. So 4th and 2nd, I'm still very ignorant on. Isn't that... A, isn't that a pure ground type, or is that a bug ground? Yeah, ground type, at least. I'm pretty sure I saw some of those in Kalos. Like in the uh, desert outside of Lumios. I don't know what I just walked into. What did I just walk into? Let's look at the sign first. This is Reversal Mountain. Reversal Mountain. We're not we're not I'm not gonna see trick rooms inside here, are I? There's a weird aura to the place. I must be ready. Ooh. I dig the music. I'm going to use repels as soon as I get too sick of the uh, random encounters, but I want to see what's in here first off. Hello, Bianca. Uh, is that because it's all a trick room? Oh, nice. Nice, you're going to pull a, a Sana slash Shauna early on in X and Y in the uh, forest. Why am I forgetting the name of that forest? It's very, very early on. The forest where you could capture a Pikachu in Kalos. Shauna, Japanese name Santa, would follow you around and just heal you for the asking. Fantastic. Now I don't have to completely drain all of my health items. And this is, this is apparently an ability that's unique to NPCs. I wish I could just arbitrarily heal my Pokemon after every fight. Badoosh. Oh, boy, we're gonna do this, huh? OBKB. You're not gonna be much good out there. Against three fighting types, they're gonna murder you. But two of those fighting types are half steel. Unless Riolu doesn't have the same typing as Lucario, I'm not sure. Oh wait, steel is... I guess we'll find out right now. Is that going to do neutral damage or not? anything at the best of times, but right now especially I am ignorant. No. You must not be a steel type. You're just a pure fighting type. Interesting. Okay. You gain the steel by evolving into Lucario. That I did not know. 
I could have known it if I had, like, checked Bulbapedia for two picoseconds after getting a Riolu of my own. But I'm not very smart. Nor am I a good person. I say this frequently. Oh, Jesus! Good Christ on some days. You're not a good Pokemon. You should just get hit. Hmm. Uh, fine. Bring up my own superpower fighter. The Egyptian god of the dead who will bake you a loaf of bread. I'm sorry, Riola. It has to be done. You must be murdered sideways by your senpai. Do 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 do. That again. Urgh. That's right, fighting strong against steel. I should have known that was coming. And I really hope Bianca's actually going to do a full party restore, including reviving my fallen fighters. God, even your cry sounds like a bowel movement. You're better than you give yourself credit for, girl. Or do you just heal me automatically after every fight? Every fight? Oh, so you do. Wow, not even Shauna would do that. You'd have to talk to her. And she would name drop Pikachu as a way of indicating to the player, hey, you can catch a Pikachu in this place. Now shut up and catch a Pikachu. Live solely on nostalgia. Urgh. Oh, she's going to fight alongside me? Fuck yes. Oh, you are such a much better person than Bedhead. Um, this is not safe, but I can surf you all to death. Hey, you don't care if I hit your... <laughs> you, still have, you still have the the space fetus from the last game. <laughs> now go ahead and use a rock move against my duck, I dare you. Or you won't even have a chance to. I was actually kind of annoyed to have Bedhead with me in the sewers, but this is great! I get to fight side by side with an old, an extremely attractive older girl who's smarter than she used to be. Oh boy, I wonder how this is gonna go. Yes, I'm gonna do a setup that'll allow me to heal after each turn, but it won't work if I get one shotted. But that's not gonna happen. I'm sure that oh. This laser sheet must love me more than anybody else. But this game's got to stop throwing at things at me that are very weak against electricity so I can have some other guys win for once. God damn it. And clear out all the trainers and get the experience because I know for hell certain that I'm going to need it. Like the next gym leader is going to be level 990, 90, 90, 90, 99. Rustall. That thing's new. Ground bug, maybe? Well, if that's true... There's one thing I have that is uniquely suited to dealing with this. Look at the junk on its back. That's like a cutaway section of, of earth. Like of soil. No doubt meant to be that exact thing. Anyway. As a certain otter once said, Pachoon. Yar. No, you, you clearly don't understand how this works. I, I'm probably... It's my fault. I must not be explaining it properly. Let me put it in a way you might understand. Patroon! There, you're getting it now. I'm glad to have you on board with this endeavor endeavor of you getting patrooned. Let the scales fall from your eyes. My eyes are so unscaled, I don't even want to talk to you. Oh my. Flamethrower. That's a fun and a half. Yeah, flamethrower is a pretty pretty preferred move. Uh, so let's see, it's special. 
as is Flame Burst, and this is just better in every way. So goodbye, Flame Burst. You served me well. That is time for my Super Power Puppy to become a Super Puppy Power. Let's try out the new toy! Oh, yeah. Feel the burn. That's all right, Psychic Fetus. I got gotcha. you. Bianca, together we shall explore this extremely hot place. And you may see me as nothing more than a friend, and that's fine. But just let it be known that this girl really, really wants Senpai to notice her. Well, I got what I wanted. The game stopped throwing at me stuff that was uh, super weak to electric moves. But this place is most certainly not a trick room, at least not here. Dang. My one weapon against a fire rocky thing is down. Uh, not good. Every other thing I have here has some sort of disadvantage against the camera up. That's really not good. I could be in trouble. Blast. Alright, I'll do what I can. Badoosh! Oh no, it's not rock, it's ground. That's even worse, potentially. Crikey, so that means electric is completely ineffective against it. Hmm. Yeah, everything I have has got some kind of disadvantage against this guy. This thing could legitimately faint my entire team. I could get wiped right here. This is surprising. Sure. Do, yes, do some kind of self-destruct move. That's fine by me. I'll take a little bit of a risk in keeping you out. That should be neutral damage. Yep. I, I don't... Uh. Yeah, slowing yourself down so that you can one-shot everything I do. That's That's essentially what you're doing here. So all I can hope is to put you down before... But I'm, I'm going to do so little damage now because your defense is through the roof. Maybe it won't matter if I can land one more hit. Yeah, if, if you land a single hit, I'm toast. For sure. Oh, but it doesn't matter now because this is definitely going to do like one hit point of damage. Haha, <laughs> your meta gaming didn't work. You suck. You could have destroyed my entire team, and you chose not to. I think you went easy on me, Ranger Ranger. Ranger Danger Stranger. Rostberry. Strawberries are good stuff. Bianca isn't running, she's just walking really fast. But what did you think I was going to do? Of course I'm going to look around. I am naturally a Dungeoneer, girl. From what little you've seen of me, you should know this. I don't, I don't think I need a doctor. I've got a girl following me around who just heals me without me even asking. That's how much of, like, super high-tier waifu material she is. I can I can see having a doctor in the in this dungeon being useful if I come back here without Bianca later on to grind. Which, with the way the gym leaders have been working in this game, that's probably what will end up happening. Heat heat ran? Hmm. Yeah. I wonder if that means that you could come back here in a post-game and uh, catch a legendary. Or, or 
It wouldn't technically be a mythical, it'd be a legendary. Hum hum hum. Things to think and words to say. Wow, lucky. I could have very well one-shotted my duck if that had hit. One-shotted. That's not proper conjugation, is it? Just one shot. I could have one shot my duck. Then the present tense would be one shoot, wouldn't it? Nah. It's probably it's probably always just one shot. One kill. Doesn't matter. I'll land another another hit on you and you're down. Also, my puppy can burn entire worlds. Ow. Hmm. Hmm. What would a smart man do? I'm gonna take a risk because I think if I hit either one of these guys a second time, it's gonna it's gonna knock them down. And Flambe is faster. I hope. Please faint. Ah, oh, thank goodness. All right. Let's bring the bird back. Like a bird brain. Aw. I didn't even get to kill you. I didn't land the finishing blow. Lots of leveling in that fight. They're entirely unpredictable. You're obviously like somebody who has both schizophrenia and ADHD. And my bird is finally evolving, thank goodness. Ducklet is adorable. Cute little bird, cute little blue duck. But I need somebody strong. I need a powerful, graceful fighter. Somebody who can perform in Disney on ice. Swana. Badouche. I'm in for a challenge, though, with two of my other Pokemon. Because I need, like, to, to have a full option of all the moveset that I want. I'd have to have uh, my Mincino and my uh, Growlithe evolve, or not evolve, but level to 50 before I use stones on them to evolve them so I can get all the proper moveset. My oh my. Alright, now here's an awesome time to put a water bird to work. So graceful. Now don't go killing the volcano camel before I get a chance to. And don't die yourself, either. I mean, I know you're a floating psychic fetus, but we have some standards around here. I'm gonna hurt you, by the way. Huh. Coming into two trainers' line of sight distinctly, but at the same time. And it's just a twin battle, that's all it means. Ace Trainers! I'm a girl, so I have to show you my butt. It's anime law. Oh my. So, Grumpig I th think I've seen before, but Vibrava. Probably a flying bug, which means I do not want to have my grass snake out against it. But I do want to have a flame puppy! Oh, blast a million, that's a stone attack, that's a rock attack, and rock is strong against fire, and I'm awful at things. 
blast. <sighs> okay. Um, well, I guess I have to use my water bird yet again. Blessed a million right in the spring. Let's test the hypothesis. Are you indeed a flying bug? If so, this should be neutral damage. And it is neutral damage. Yeah, you're a flying bug. That's fine. Go ahead. Sleep it off. I'll badoosh you and your friend to death. Wait. Are you a dragon? Or do you just know a dragon move? Sorry, Masharna. Masharna. Some Pokemon have really hard to pronounce names. One that I had trouble with especially? Confagrigus. 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 Having those two soft G's right next to each other, right on top of each other, it's kind of hard. Oh, you're not done. Okay. Well... You should have a double weakness to water, so here you go. My apologies if I faint your Pokemon, Bianca. I will try not to do that, do that again. Doesn't matter at this point anyway. Since Bianca apparently can just heal her team and mine for free, arbitrarily. On a whim of whim of whims. On a whim, Scott. On a whimser. You're not done yet! Oh. And that's an evolved ghost balloon. How strange. Um, hmm, 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 hmm. This one should be fine. Bianca, do you want to heal your space fetus, maybe? Uh-oh. Oh, nope, oh, oh, there it goes. Ghost type move, down it goes. Do you have any other Pokemon, Bianca? Oh, oh, you do. Jesus. You were just using your Masharna this entire time. Masharna. Oh, you're a ghost flying. Blast a million. This is not going to work very well. Oh, well. Wait, that means that... Malcolm doesn't really have any skill to take care of you. Huh. Well, who does? Who in their right mind would mind the right? Fighting? No. God damn it. My options are so often limited in ways that I'm not gratefully proud of. <sighs> Alright. Bring out the Thunder Sheep once again. So we'll just end the entire universe while we're at it. Or it doesn't matter. Because Bianca's dog is powerful enough to end all of space-time. But I think my laser sheep is faster. Watch this. So, okay. So you... It's not faster. She's not faster. That's honestly surprising. But anyway, pachow. A tough battle. Your space feed has fainted. That's really sad. Then my true strength is in saving others. Yeah. These games focus on the relationship between humans and Pokemon so much. And that's appropriate. That's fine. That's why we play these games. is because of the Pokemon. I don't know what that is. But, uh... Just makes me wish I could have them in real life, man. Like I've said before, Pokemon are like pets, but better. I don't know what happened just now. It was kind of like a poor man's Pokedex check. Anyway, it's good to have this in case I want to do another team substitution later. You just got a nugget. Aren't you so goddamn proud of yourself? Can you move on with life? Oh wait, I should organize my team. 
Yep, have my lowest level guy out front. Gets level 50 so I can evolve you. Uh, yeah. Wait, does that mean I would get your accompaniment if I come back in here again? Andela Town. Oh, so we went from a Latin little place of n no repute to something that sounds like a Calypso beach. What's going on here? Tell me, Umbrella Lady. Hmm. Well, fine. But... I hear the water, but I don't see it. Is that the beach right there? I can see sand. The little girls leaving footprints. What? Whoa. Are you an ex-member of Team Plasma? Andela! Plasma! Girl, talk to me. Yeah, absolutely a beach resort town. This would be like the beaches in... Laguna Beach? Verona Beach. Some place in California that has beaches. I have surf. There's no reason I couldn't go out there if I wanted. In fact... Wait a second, Draco Plate? Is that... Is that an item that would turn um, Arceus into a dragon type? You know, the god Pokemon who destroys all of all of time and space and efforts? Let's see, like an Osa town. Up, up, slid. So this is on the far east of Unova, which means, in theory, if I started swimming and never stopped swimming, I might eventually end up on Kalos. Yee, I'm gonna surf on the back of my beautiful swan. But there will, of course, be, like, rocks that keep me from going all the way across the Atlantic, or whatever the Pokemon world equivalent of the Atlantic is. Whoa. That thing is weird looking. Oh, I see you're a flying water. I would have, uh, since you're based on a manta ray, I would have expected you to be poison water. Except, wait, do those things even have poison on their stingers? I don't know if they do. That's fine. Go ahead, sink. Nobody minds. If you think that anything you do is important to anybody else, you underestimate how self-obsessed people are. Oh my. You know you're pretty and you're showing it off. Hmm. A nondescript cave in the middle of nowhere. This looks like post-game space. Seaside cave. Uh... How, how strong do I have to be? We're, we're talking, like, after the end of the game, aren't we? Yeah. You are not going to let me through. Ah! Oh, a seal! I haven't seen you since Red. Hmm. Deep water. That looks dangerous. Let's go! Oh. So there's a dive move here as well, huh? I thought that didn't appear until Oras. And there's still so much I don't know. Oh my. Predecessor to Whale Lord. That's very intimidating. With enough health to destroy all of time and feeling. Such that one Mega Drain completely heals my snake. This is your evolution point, isn't it? Coil. Ooh, poison move. Ah, a poison move that does no damage, huh? I don't think I know how to feel things. So I will stay away from this without any emotions in order to drive my ability to make decisions. That's right, float on by. He got a couple of built-in flotation devices. Now, finally, I get the Omega Snake of Royalty. The great grass god of dreams. 
It's not specced anywhere near as well as Sharon's was. Skrill! Superior. Darr. And now you don't have any articulated limbs like Snivy did. But your tail is probably, like, articulate enough. You could kill anything you wanted to. Starmie. I haven't seen you in a really long time. Oh, shh. That was not the right move to use. I could have used a good move, but I chose not to. It's a powerful Starmie, too. Too high level for my liking. Hmm. Reminds me of a simpler day. A simpler time back before the anime had completely ruined Kasumi. Known as Misty to we Dirty Gaijin, the Cerulean Gym Leader. So, Miss Ace Trainer, how did you get out here, by the way? In this watery kind of nowhere? Oh, I guess it's not that far to swim. You could have taught Surf to either of your two water Pokemon and gotten out here just fine. Silly me. It's not really smart for me to say things. Uh, they're frequently wrong. Well, it seemed like there was much to do in this town other than just go out and fight the trainers, I guess. Uh, is there... It's not likely there's going to be anything interesting in these houses. Oh my, really? Caitlin? The, na the name is familiar. Is she... Uh, I think she's the psychic one? Yeah, the one who was like the Sleeping Beauty? I could be... Oh, fuck you! It's time, isn't it? I had gone far too long without your stupid, ugly face being on the screen, and now you just had to show up. I was about to get through an entire video without you appearing, but no! You couldn't let me have my dream of being rid of you and just having an adventure without your stupid fucking plot. Sorry, I'm done. <laughs> I hate this character so much. That's okay. We'll just we'll have a nice battle, and that's all we'll worry about. I'm underleveled, but what else is new? I'm underleveled, but brutally interested in being interestingly brutal. Oh yeah, fortuitous beginning. Maybe if I beat you, maybe if I beat you really, really hard, I can discourage you, have you slip into some kind of depression coma, and just completely make you not want to even be a Pokemon trainer anymore. Do you think I could do that? If I could do that, I would be like really servicing the world. I would be actively contributing to adding more positivity and happiness to people's lives. Especially if I could somehow like go the super extra mile and make you suicidal. Maybe just make you so depressed that you want to kill yourself and nobody has or, uh, ever has to think about you again. I said I was done and then I keep starting again. It's fine. I'm gonna burn your bird. That's not really fair though. Your, your Pokemon are probably well-meaning and don't deserve the abuse I'm giving them. It's you who deserves- I said I was done. I said I was done. I really have to stop. Malcolm, you're about to get burned by a water type and I apologize in advance. Yep. Always with that move. So predictable. Badoosh. Oh, but it didn't get burned for once. How about that? Yep, there you are. Get, get leeched, would you, please? There. Now you will eventually die, as long as Malcolm doesn't die. Which actually might happen right now. Ow. Yep. Is that going to be enough to offset the health effect of the burn, though? I don't know. Just barely. Good jeez. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to pull you back. It's not worth it. I don't. I can't lose this effect. The leech seed effect. Please. You have a weapon that would burn me and slowly reduce my health, and you're going to instead use something that's not effective against steel? Ah, bedhead. Your death will be the... I, I said I was done, and yet I keep doing it. I'm so sorry. Holy oh, shit, fuck! How is it that strong? Ah! Like, this this monkey is very gener genial and all that, but it still just keeps demolishing everything in the universe with that fucking scald move. You can take down goddamn Reshiram with that. 
Here, just do this and die immediately, please. Badoosh. Thank God. I have become Water Monkey, Ender of Worlds. Um, and Fari is actually my highest level Pokemon right now, so I better keep doing this. Ow. Except I have a Water type, so if I can get some bad status effects on you, I might stand something of a chance. Except you. Oh, thank God. That was that was pure luck right there. I don't deserve that extra hit I just got. Counting on me to do what? Who do you think you even are? So you just killed my laser sheep. That's the first time Fari's died since evolving, I think. I could be wrong on that. Sure, what the hell. Maybe you'll be dumb enough to use a fire move. Oh, I could at least reduce your attack. It might mean the Flambike could actually take one hit from you. Is that true? Yes. Oh, <laughs> you killed yourself with the recoil. Ah, uh, uh, bedhead. That's right, get depressed, get depressed. Go home and think about your life. No, I wasn't supposed to encourage you. I, I don't care about the Pokedex. I, I forget if I was given, like, a dialogue option for yes or no, but... Even if I was, I wasn't given a choice. I had to... I'm sure I had to click yes or I wouldn't be allowed to proceed in the game. Just like that stupid businessman on the Dream Road Rainbow Place something. I forget. Right south of Nimbasa, I think it was? Whatever, I'll stop talking. Route 13... All right, show me map. We're probably not far from the next town, I think? Yeah, it was... Lacanosa, which... That and then Route 11 is between me and Opposite. Okay. Fair enough. Dot JPEG. Let's do the thing. And not win points. Point winning is for losers and suckers and nerds, and I don't think anybody would ever rightfully do that. But I've got to make sure to fight the trainers, otherwise I don't get enough experience. Badoosh, badoosh. About five, six years ago, I had a pet cat who I loved very much who passed away. And it was super sad. And I had a mourning period because I loved the cat so much and yet it died. And it was very, very sad. So I, I mourned the cat's death. Um, the mourning period for the cat took no more than like a couple of weeks at the absolute most. I think it was probably more like a week, like maybe a solid seven days where I was just really freaking sad because I'd lost a, a pet that I very I love very much. And it still makes me sad to think of it this day, but I feel nothing, nothing like the nightmarish cataclysmic rage that drives this bedhead fellow. This is not psychologically healthy what he's going through. Hmm, beautiful scenery. Still Route 13, right? That hasn't changed. Sure. Hmm. Expansive. Sprawling. I know not ought what want want to want. A Tangela. Wow. There's a surprising number of Gen 1s in this game. Hmm. Sandbridge. house in the middle of oceanic nowhere. Oh no, it's a monkey of death. Except that's uh, not the evolved one, is it? That's the younger one. Say that again? I'm really annoyed by what Team Plasma said in the past, so I live with Pokemon. Well, that's good. I'm wholeheartedly with that. Yeah. I don't have my sentient animal companion in a ball, but when I try to talk to it, it doesn't do what I say. So this means this whole philosophy that Team Pat Plasma was espousing is flawed. You know, me not being able to control other sentient creatures. Yeah. I need to have slaves or something in a containment device. 
Pokeballs. <sighs> it's fine. Don't go looking for sense in these games. You'll just drive yourself crazy. As I've done. I've been to crazy and then back again and then I went there again and now I'm just staying there. Because going back and forth is really exhausting and time and too intensive. I don't... Oh my. Is that the legendary that I met before? I seem to remember seeing that thing before, but I don't I don't know cut, so I can't get to it. Oh well. That's fine. I'm not really in the mood to fight a legendary anyway. But I will fight an ace trainer. I only have one flying type, don't get too excited. Oh, you're just saying I'm good, so I'm going to be high up? Don't go talking in non sequiturs that you think are poetic, okay? <laughs> You're afraid of heights. So I see. You were trying more to convince yourself than me. Well then. Welcome to the psychological games that we play just for being human. Where more than half your life, in fact almost all of your life, is spending, spent trying to figure out how to favorably brain hack yourself. It's the dumbest thing and we all do it. Oh, there's a hole in the woods right here, herp derp. I'm smart and worthy of praise. Another house on the... I see, it's just beachfront property. That's all this is going on. Hello, Wingle. That's charming and all, but I have, I have no use for it. This, no, you're not. You, that's one of those things that's just so bad that even if you think you're a fan of it, you're just wrong. You're just mistaken. Hmm. Speaking of being wrong and mistaken, I actually do not... This was just another distraction, so I don't know the way forward. Must be this, maybe? Yes. We all walk through some tall grass from time to time. It's a very long route. Oh, I didn't have to learn cut to see this thing again. Oh boy. I came down here and I did not... Should I? Okay, I'm gonna save. Just to be like super uber duper omega wega dega safe. But could I actually like fight a legendary right now? This thing is probably level 50,000. And I'm level negative 50,000, so between the two of us, we're like one person. Badoosh! Here we go. Oh my. Co yeah, that's it. Cobalion. I forget. I forgot its name. I also don't know its type. Um, you know, I'm actually going to look up its type so I don't have to learn it by brute force experimentation. It's a steel fighting type, just like my Lucario. Which means, if I can actually land a hit on it, I should do a lot of damage. Except it one-shots me because it's a legendary. I should expect this. I don't want to catch this thing, but I'd like... I'd be interested to try to faint it. Ooh, this music's getting faster and faster. Whoa. The music does not know what tempo it wants to be. Ow. Hmm. You know, even if I wanted to catch this thing, I probably don't have a Pokeball that could do it. But, you know what? For super duper, ooper whooper, shits and master gig. Oh, I have a Master Ball. I forgot about that. Eh. I'm sure the game is going to throw some goddamn legendary in my face at the very end, just like the last game did. Let's try to catch it. This was something lesser. And if I run out of Ultra Balls or Great Balls and can't catch it, then meh. That was kind of expectable. Alright, I'll just use up all my balls, and if I can't make it work, then I'll faint it. I would have to use the Master Ball, wouldn't I? Yeah. Alright, screw this noise. Let's just faint the damn thing. 
<laughs> you think you can do it, Fuka? <laughs> Tail slap it to death? <laughs> oh, nope, nope, nope. That's a fighting move, isn't it? Oh, wow, that didn't kill you. Is that my only chance to catch a Kobolan? Like, will one of those things ever appear again? Slam! Yeah, sure, what the hell. I like doing things that are ineffective. Why do you have to specify the body part? All right, a long tail. Got it. Um, <laughs> yeah, tail slap. You're too unreliable. Sorry, I'll get rid of you. Better to do. Yeah, yeah. Kobolan will probably show up again later on. There's no point in really catching it. I wouldn't have anything to do with it. And you can't really trade games off of an emulator, so... We could be kind of effed one way or the other. Lacanosa. Oh, hi, girls. Hi there, May. Okay, so you've been here before. That's why you were able to fly here. Yes, opposite. Ugh, okay, go ahead. Expose to me. Exposition, exp exposition. Do, 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 do. Learn things with words. There's somebody important who lives here. Can you possibly handle the heat? A generic old lady NPC. No, I don't. No. Negative 58? Wow. That's pretty flippin' cold. That'd be like, what, negative... 47 Celsius? I'm kind of making a guess there. You know, I don't, I don't have to guess. I'll just do the conversion right now. I was close. 50 degrees, negative 50 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty flippin' chilly. Pokemon ate people? Well, you know, sometimes people eat Pokemon, apparently, so maybe that's reasonable. A fascinating story! This anecdotal piece of verbally passed on folklore is totally good for a research paper, right? Man, Pokemon biologists are so flippin' awful at their jobs, I swear to Christ. Hmm. The opposite of Reshiram. Yes, I remember the story of Reshiram. Reshiram. Seeks the truth. Whereas... What was it? Let's see. One Pokemon seeks the truth, the other seeks ideals. Yeah, Zekrom was... This is what it should be, and Reshiram is like, well, this is what is. Is versus ought. It's a time-old debate. The meteorite. The meteorite? You're just using a bunch of words here. I'm not... I'm not following or invested. I'm just... Like, if, like, the, 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 some, like, something, like, uh, oh, this is making my pretty girl brain hurt so hard. Bianca, you're great. Just don't hurt yourself, all right? Lacanosa. Lacanosa's club. Oh. Ugh. Would, wouldn't somebody in the town know that? Do you have to speculate on this? Why is it the scientists of this world act as if nobody knows anything currently? Is that is that the gym in this town? Drayden? Oh, no, okay. That's right, that's right. He's the dragon guy. And Opla said, um Or is he doing dragons? Because I was I was under the impression that Iris, even though being the league champion, would still be majorly a dragon type. Hmm. In fact, I don't I don't have seven badges, I don't believe. Yeah. I don't know who that last person is. It looks like a drop, maybe? Do I have a water person to fight? Hmm. 
knowing things is difficult. You know, it occurs to me... This, this game... Oh, fuck you. I don't even want to walk that way. This game is so blastedly unfocused. Like, we're at least 60% of the way in the game. Maybe more like 65-70% of the way in the game. And... I don't think that, like, a core threat, as done by Team Plasma, has really been talked about or developed all that much. Uh, I mean, I... The only motivation that May is supposed to have here at this point is kind of, like, helping Professor Juniper with her research, and that's it. Team Plasma is just kind of a nebulous, vaporous afterthought. I mean... Ugh. Something good I can say about this game is the variety of Pokémon that are available pretty easily is nice. It's cool, especially with all the Gen 1s running around. I got a Growlithe, and, you know, more Gen 5s are easily and readily available. It's awesome. But there's so much that this game is lacking in. It's really diffuse and unfocused and doesn't know what the hell it wants. Yeah, I know. Oh, speak of the devil, huh? It, no, nobody asked. Look, what, what does Team Plasma even mean anymore? You guys are fractured internally. Two people can say, I'm part of Team Plasma, and mean entirely different things by saying it. Alright. Yeah, sure. But only because I like kicking the shit out of Team Plasma, okay? We've done this too many times now for me to pretend that I enjoy fighting beside you. You're, yeah, you were one of the X-Sages, weren't you? Oh, whatever. Oh, my. Diagonal, huh. Oh. But I've got a flippin' Embor on my side, so everything's fine, I suppose. Just don't use any Ice-type moves on my bird, would you? You're a f are you a fire fighting type? Because I don't think flying should do that much damage to fire alone. Yeah, you know what? Although, Kragonal is pretty darn slow. But anyway, Furo just leveled, so... I'll get maybe Flambe out. Oh my. Alright. Partial somewhat scariness. Hmm, yeah, Flambe. Flambe, go do your thing. Make a delicious flame-braised creme brulee for us to enjoy. No? Oh, Jesus! You are pretty strong, and you're frozen. Nice. You're high level, and my puppy is just not that strong in base stats. Low base stats, really. And the only way to get frozen out during a fight is to use items, which I'm not using, so I can't actually do anything with that. Alright. The Egypt Egyptian god of death it is. Badoosh. See, you're smart enough to use items. But you're also just thoroughly objectionable as a person. I feel like I need to improve my move pool. I probably deserve some looking into. Because I'm still running with a lot of entry-level moves, and... I feel like I could end up in the same scenario that I was in at the end of the last game. Where I have to go through and manually improve my move pool because all of my team's moves completely suck. And I can't deal with the game's most difficult main game challenges. Thank you, Bedhead. The thing you should have done a minute ago. Jesus Christ, your death cannot come early enough. Hmm... Oh well. I'm not too worried if Embar passes out. 
Ooh, a dark type. Excellent. At least I think that's a dark type. Increase priority move. Badoosh. It was enough to put you down hardcore. Oh my, Swords Dance. That's quite the interesting setup move, isn't it? Hmm. But I'm going to get Power Up Punch at some point, aren't I? Honestly, I feel like I should have already gotten that. Hmm, hmm, hmm. There are things I don't feel like I know. Oh well. I'll try it. What was that? Was that the player controlling your ever move like you were an avatar character? Hmm? Yes. There's a reason for that. Fine, go to Oplicid. Yeah, you know what? Go chase them. Run out of breath and suffocate and fall down flat on your face, dead. And nobody's even going to bury you. We'll just let your body be harried by the wild beasts. It's going to be pretty flippin' far to Oplicid still, I think. I've got a whole, like, bridge to go over and everything. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going through, like, a bunch of towns here. Let's see, like, I started, started this at... Actually, no, I didn't start there at all. Where, where the hell did I come from? I went through a mountain. And then came out here. And then went through... Th no. You know, I'm very confused. I don't even know how I got here. But I'm just, I'm just like, chewing through these towns with tons of scenery and different music and not staying there for very long. That's how, like, flippin' diffuse and unfocused this game feels. Alright, twinsies. Um... I'm gonna myself organized for a twin battle. Some of my weaker fighters out front to see if there's some easy experience that I can chew up on. Yes, yes. Badoosh. Ro and Cleo? Aww. Cle oh, Cleo and Rio. Those cheerleaders are so adorable. And those things are adorable too. Rosalia. That's like among my favorite grass types. Those things are great. Not compared to a Snivy, obviously. Nothing, nothing beats that. Snivy would have been my favorite up to Gen 5. Before Sylveon came along. And since I recorded the last video, there's been a lot of Gen 7 Pokemon that have been exposed. Uh, like the official... YouTube channel for Pokemon has had a lot of videos showing, here's all the Pokemon that you can catch in Sun and Moon in Alola. That's about four weeks from the time of this recording. Whoops. That was really stupid and careless of me, but I guess it doesn't matter. The favorite Pokemon of mine that I've seen so far in uh, Sun and Moon is also a fairy, unsurprisingly. Mimikyu. The one that dresses up like a Pikachu because it's desperate to make friends with people. That is just like the most heart-stirringly adorable thing I have ever heard of in my entire life. And the designers working at Game Freak know their trade well. They know their trade very, very well. If Black and White 1 could have had this game's diversity of Pokemon, but kept its own uh, focus in the narrative and the pacing and all of that, and, like, the relative um, minority of completely annoying characters. I mean, N was pretty bad. But then if you could also remove fucking Getsis at the end, and not completely behead the whatever emotional power that the ending of that game has, if you could remove Getsis, have the, the uh, diversity of Pokemon in this game, but keep everything else the same, 
that would be a really, really flippin' solid Pokemon game. Sun and Moon still looks better, though. At least for now. Hmm, that's very true. I have a motto in life. Work hard, but don't work too much. Chinchinos are so great. Oh, yes. This is the other side of Oplicid. Oh, pfft. Don't worry. I could take out everybody in the game with my eyes blindfolded, blindfolded behind my head. That makes sense, right? Also, village bridge, huh? So it's like a town that's a bridge. How about that? Okay. <laughs> sure, what the hell. I'll be your first lose. I'm going to break your, your 1,000 streak. Yes. All right, we'll use a bit of strategy. Please don't one-shot me. Um, very close. I'm just barely able to keep Malcolm alive. Well, right, that should have one-shotted me, and this strategy shouldn't work. I should be sent to jail, and I should be violated in the butt by a very large man named Skippy. You should be doubly weak to fire, steel, and bug, if memory serves. But it did it. Yes. My fire puppy is so great. I would hug the hell out of that fire puppy. Ow. Jeez, not very effective, but you're still kicking my butt. There we go. That's how it works in the wild. Welcome to the jungle, etc. Oh, I see. I am terrified. I don't want to fight one of those things. I'll see if I can get a single shot off. Probably not, because that's a ground-type move, and yep, down we go. Blast. Okay, so if not fire, do I have anything that's useful against steel? I don't know how the world works. But... Flying... This is... I mean, flying is weak against steel, so this will be neutral at best. See if I can set up a healing. Oh, 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 I have no increased priority moves, so the joke is on you, sir. But I can do this. You know, trainer, I think you're lying. You haven't won 999 times. You're not good enough for that. Although, crap. Yeah, if I let Lucario continue to do that, he's just going to one-shot me with every hit. You're probably in one-shot territory right now. Um, can I get off a single hit? Probably. Oh! <laughs> God, you're dumb. You have not won 999 battles. You're a liar or you're delusional. There's somebody in Unova that would have killed your butt. do 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 Oh, merciless. I've lost. I have no reason to live anymore. Hmm. <laughs> um, did Toko fight you? She probably did. I don't know if there's a Pokemon Center in this bridge. I'm doubtful. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to go on without healing my team, so back to Lachanosa we go. My friendship is good or max for all of my team. That's good. It's not as bad as I thought. 
I'd like to have guys stop fainting, but when a couple members of my team are going to have really crappy stats until level 50, when I can safely use evolution stones, blah, 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 you know the drill. Village bridge. Strange idea to have a bridge be a town. Very weird. Oh my. It's large. What? Why is somebody beatboxing in the right stereo channel? Does UD have to choke a bitch? Because I'll totally do that. Does that fade the further away I get? Yes, it does. Or, no, it doesn't. Oh, no! Vocals! Ah! It was, it was cute when, when... Wow, I'm only remembering her Japanese name, Homika. Survivor. I haven't seen one of you since Kalos. It was cute when, when, um... Wow, why am I only remembering her Japanese name? This is embarrassing. Ho Homika is her Japanese name. Roxy? Oh, that, no, that's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Fuck, I'm gonna look it up right now because I feel like a giant tool bag of great mass. It was Roxy! Ah! Somebody come here and stab me to death! Anyway, let's try this move out. Since poison doesn't work on steel, I have... What? Oh, that's just the ability. Eh, whatever. Okay, so I've just raised attack by four stages. That's not gonna do much. I'm steel-type still. But douche? Yee. Pretty strong. There we go. That's how the world goes around. Almost certainly need to go back and clear out those trainers, but... That's fine, I can do that another time. My main goal for the moment is to get to Opposite. Because I've done nothing this whole video but roam. I've just traveled like the Fellowship of the Ring. I've just gone over countryside and under mountains and through towns. That's a big cloud, and it's moving against the wind. Altaria. Huh. I'll be damned. The mega evolution of which is the only fairy dragon, or dragon fairy. That also means you're not weak to any of my BS. Ooh, this is scary. Huh. Okay, I'll do what I can. Which is not much. Ow! Yep. That's one dead puppy. made of cotton and probably very, very huggable. Nobody thinks they'll love you. I can't go back to the Pokemon Center because you're going to fight me again as if I walk past here. So, will somebody in this trailer heal me, maybe? Huh? I, I don't know. Okay, well, it looks like I'm healing my team the expensive way, then. Man, Fari sure turned into a powerhouse. From being the weakest member of my team to being the strongest. Highest health, too. It's like, hey, I'm a laser sheep and I'm going to destroy the universe! Whoops. Walking back into a trailer like some, some kind of a douche tool. I don't care about the trainers at this point. I just want to get to Opposite. I can come back and clear shit out. Oh my god! It's another legendary thing. Do I have to fight you? 
Or do I just get to fight you? Yeah, my team's in good shape. I can try to fight you. Alright, what are you? That is... Vir... Virizian. Virizian. That rhymes with Viridian, which I'm sure is maybe what your color is based on. Okay, let's look up what type you are. This is unusual. It's a fighting grass legendary Pokemon. Very unusual. I'll just do a little... Ow! Chilly shit! Poor Anubis. Oh well. I have a very basic puppy. Maybe I can do little slivers of damage to you before you completely demolish my face. Ah, Giga Drain. I need to teach that to Malcolm. Yikes. Ow, 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 ow. But I didn't hit you first, so it didn't hurt that bad. Nope, down you go. I'm so sorry, Flumbe. But you served me well. We're fighting the hell out of a legendary. Please don't use a grass type move. Ah, good. Thank you for being dumb. The game's AI plays into my favor. And Badoosh. 4X. Flying versus fighting grass. I once again have to heal my team the expensive way, otherwise that breeder's gonna try to attack me again when I walk past here. Ugh. How do I how do I get over there? Must have to go the long way around, maybe? Hmm. Now oh, whatever. I'm I'm sure I'll come back and explore this all more thoroughly once I'm you know, firmly placed within Oplicid. Here we are. Hey! Long time no see. Ooh, I've... Yep. Oh, that's right, when you were all too eager to have me and Bedhead jump into the sewers. We know! We know that Team Plasma's down here, but how do you know? We just know! Go get covered in feces! Drayden, I see, I see. Oh, oh? You're not? Are you adopted? Just go, go be the league champion. I'm, I'm sure you have work to do. Ah, Oplicid. Oh! <laughs> and this, this violist, or whatever instrument she's playing, is still right here. <laughs> My god, the asset reuse, it's so lazy and cheap. I, I, yes, they did take their development time and spend it on other things. But really heavy asset reuse, for sure. Let's go out and listen to the, to the instrument lady. I, I don't know what instrument she's playing. I mean, from the sprite work, it looks like she's playing a shamisen with a bow, but I'm pretty sure you don't play a shamisen with a bow. So, it, like, in the game's uh, MIDI voices, it sounds more like a vi like the imitation of a viola. Na, 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 na. It's a pretty song, and I'm glad to make it back to Oplicid, although I'm surprised that this is badge 7, not badge 8. Whatever. I've done, like I said, I've done nothing in this video but just travel and roam. I, like, completely cheesed the crap out of Skyla when we started, but ugh. This, this Pokemon game's got some important innovations for its generation, but this is, this is not going to go down in history as one of the defining moments of the series, I can tell.